their sisters and brothers in the United Evangelical Lutheran Churches in India. You have come to an important moment in your life as a fellowship of women and men in the Church, as you celebrate the 25 years since you made the decision to open the ordination to priesthood for both men and women. Today, you reflect on what these gifts shared in the Church has offered to the whole Church. And you also are part of a wider ecumenical family continuing to reflect and to share the experiences, but also the theological reflections about how can we be a fellowship of women and men serving together. As you celebrate, I ask you to reflect on your own journey and to share that with the wider ecumenical family. These issues of ordination of women and men to the priesthood in the church or to other offices in the church is one of those issues where we have to realize that the churches make different decisions and have different traditions and practices. In this fellowship of the World Council of Churches, there are many different answers to how the churches should do that. Nevertheless, since you made your decision 25 years ago, there have been also a reflection going on based on the Faith and Order consultation, first consultation on the ordination of women that was held in 1981. We see that your way forward is one that has brought blessings to your church, but also blessings to the people you are serving as churches. We see this moment in our ecumenical journey that issues like this can be church dividing, but they can also be issues where we honestly reflect together about how we apply our teaching and how we apply our experiences into today's world and our ministry for today and for tomorrow. I think your decision some time now ago is something you can celebrate, but also something that encourages others to reflect and to continue to reflect on these issues. We have also as a fellowship of churches in the World Council of Churches many moments where we really enjoy and share the gifts we are given as women and men, whether we are ordained or lay people. I think that's one of the opportunities we have as World Council of Churches, that we also encourage the churches to reflect on how both men and women are participating in the ecumenical movement, in its decision-making bodies, as we really recommend a balance between men and women in all our discerning bodies and also all our staff and working committees or whatever we have to show that we are really a fellowship of men and women and that we find a way to deal with this issue also in a practical way, even when we disagree about the ordination of women. May this moment be also a moment of joy and a moment of hope for you, for your church, and also for those who are really in need of the ministry of the church, both women and men. May God bless you.